Hello and welcome to this Warcraft replay. Welcome back to this game 2 of this best 3 here on the map Echo Isles. This is going to be from the Mobile World Congress of Shanghai, or in Shanghai, from July 2015. So, yes. Uh, game 2, Lucifer up 1 0 in this best 3. And he actually surprised me in game 1. It, ver it looked very similar to WFZ versus Fly. As in, like, composition-wise, hero composition-wise, like, build or, like, yeah, I guess it's, it's basically composition-wise. Um, I generally, I, like, personally believe that Undead has a really tough time against Orcs, and, yeah, that got completely dispelled in game one, at least. Fly probably didn't expect that amount of burst coming down on his Blade Master, especially since he was very focused on trying to keep his turn chieftain alive. F Lucifer just 180 so quickly and went after the Blade Master instead. Um, I think that was a game winning pick there, and eventually taking out the turn chieftain as well. Like, so much resources had to be invested to revive those two heroes, and Fly just could never get back into this game. Uh, game one I mean so anyway Echo Isles a very small map uh, probably the smallest map in the map pool not many people play Amazonia anymore I realized I'm not sure if it's actually in the pool anymore but it should be I mean Amazonia has been around for you know a long time uh, actually turn a uh, turn stance might may, might challenge the smallest map title um, but yeah, it's either Terran Stance or Echo Isles, or Amazonia, whichever of the three. Lucifer going for the standard start again. Uh, I'm trying to remember, like... I believe it was the Ted opening. I don't exactly remember if the Ted opening was Graveyard before Tomb of Relics, or Graveyard after Tomb of Relics, so I'm going to refrain from, from mentioning the Ted opening there. Um, it's... You know, it's very, it's pretty hard to, you know, put a single opening, which is very commonly used, into a, a person's name. So, yeah, I will just say, you know, just straightforward stuff. Stronghold started for Fly, and it seems like Lucifer might follow suit. He is waiting for a little bit of gold, and there we go. Uh, the Blade Master is going to abuse the system here, and he will take down the troll of Berserkers on the side. Uh, Ogremola might be a little too scary for the Blade Master to handle, so he might actually back off uh, after this. No items, but just straight up experience, and he's actually going to handle the Ogremola himself. Uh, he's going to use the Grunt to tank the wrist and salve his Blade Master back up. Now, the risk here is if Lucifer actually comes by then it's it's really really um, it's a really really big opportunity for that death knight but anyway Lucifer has found out the, the ogre warrior camp was taken out and yeah item is going to be plus six intelligence the mola drops the sentry wards so I guess it's very nice to get some early vision around especially in a small map like this um, Oh, but more importantly, the Blade Master is level 2. He might pick up a couple of mercenaries, or he might just go after the Renegade Wizard. Again, uh, it's a risky here because he is in enemy territory, but thankfully Lucifer is not that really close by. Uh, that might actually change very, very soon, as Lucifer is currently doing the uh, Ogre Magic Camp, is he? No, he is not. He just killed a critter and a Peace out. Uh, talking about peace out, it seems like Fly is also going to be retreating there. Grunt, very close to being taken out by the Crypt Fiend, but thankfully he was able to well get away before a second attack came out. Now the most important thing to take away from this is the Blade Master got himself Claws of Attack plus nine from the Renegade Wizard. That is already a huge, huge boost in the DPS of the Blade Master. Uh, last game he sat around 27 bonus damage. I believe that was 
without the Coda Beast aura, so yep, he's he's getting there. Death Knight's still level one. However, he has a couple of camps nearby to utilize for his farming. He also has the green creep camp over there, so could go for it, or he might just save it for the upcoming Lich as his second hero, Black Citadel start, and it seems like the Lich will be more or less synchronized with the completion of the Black Citadel. Sword House has yet to be placed down, but I'm pretty sure it's just because Lucifer rushed that very early tier 3. Ogre Magi Camp is going to get taken out, level 2 on the Death Knight, and he will pick up the Wand of Mana Stealing, Troll Trapper. Not really appreciative of those Crypt Fiends attacking through the trees. Has something to say about it, but, well, he is pacing against the Undead Legion, so, yep, not going to work out too well. Blade Master, he is looming around, is going for the Crypt Fiend instead of the Ogre Warrior. Might be able to pick it up, but the Death Coil will say otherwise. It is still a level 1 Death Coil, though, so... Blade Master might have a chance of picking up the uh, Crypt Fiend. He went after the Skeleton, surprisingly enough, but uh, yeah, maybe he thinks he can get both of them. Plus, we have another set of plus six claws. I don't know how Fly is so lucky in this game. This is this is actually pretty. This could potentially be a pretty interesting game in terms of the Blade Master. There we go with another critical strike there, and he will. He will peace out. Uh, yes, yeah, definitely not, not a wise choice to linger too long. Seems like the Death Knight himself has plus six claws. Thankfully, that was not given over to the Blade Master. Otherwise, that he would be an extremely scary Blade Master. Early expansion on the bottom right for Fly Lucifer has spotted this, so a potential, a potential that the expand might not actually finish. Turn Chieftain is going to make a return appearance once again as the second hero. Fly still not not started as a fortress tick, but well then again, I probably not going to be for a little while. The Lich is out for Lucifer, and T the slaughterhouse is also completed as well. Ring attention plus three, so not a useful item, and it's definitely not a clause. Oh. Uh, I think that was another ring, so, yeah, definitely not, not a useful item, and wow, a huge, huge frame drop there, I have no idea why, but hopefully I have not run out of space in my hard drive already, um, yeah, fly, still has the sentry wards, I wish there was a timer so I could actually tell you how long it's left, but sadly th there is no timer. Turn Chieftain nearing level 3. He he does have War Stomp most likely. He also started out with his Endurance Aura. Fly going for a Coda Beast immediately after his Raider. Probably wise since multi multiple Coda Beasts mean multiple Crypt Fiends out of the fight already. So this expand has gone unpunished. I'm surprised Lucifer let this, let this actually stand. Destroyer form is on the way. Lucifer should have Orb of Corruption on his Lich as well, and it seems like he is moving out with his Undead Army. This could be spotted by the Sentry Ward, but it seems like it has expired. The Blade Master, however, will spot this. Acolyte still lingering around. That will give away maybe a potential, potential tell on where Lucifer might target next. Um, Vue Lounge is being built, Arm Supply 53 versus 45, a clear advantage to fly, but we shall see. The hero, the hero burst has proven itself to be very real in this matchup. And the Blade Master needs to be careful there. He does have Scroll of Healing, so that is going to be pretty useful. Speed of Scroll, or, yeah, Speed of Scroll will be used. Turn Chieftain trying to get into a very good position there, and there we go with a big war stomp, and the Turn Chieftain is going to go after the Dark Ranger. Coda Beast is going to eat one of those Crypt Fiends, and we have Coda Beast number two also eating Crypt Fiends, so that is effectively like six supply worth out of the game right now. And Coda Beast, oh, I, I thought that was Coda Beast number three. Destroyer still up in the air. The Raiders, surprisingly enough, not actually going for the Ensnares. 
Uh, I don't know why. There we go with the ensnares. There we go. And Lucifer will lose himself that destroyer. However, the Coda Beasts are in danger themselves. The Blade Master is looking for a Dark Ranger to kill. Death Coil probably not going to reach. And there we go with the Dark Ranger gain taken down at level 1. Surprisingly, a GG early on for Lucifer. And wow, the score has really told the discrepancy there. Wow. Um, that is going to be game two. Very quick, very easy. And we will go to game three.